Scientists have made a shocking discovery. Boiling methane bubbles are found in the Siberian Sea in Russia. Luke Hawker of Express UK reports, scientists in Siberia made this groundbreaking discovery. They found an area in East Siberian Sea boiling with methane gases. That's bad news, of course. Researchers during an expedition in the Eastern Arctic found an area of the sea bubbling with methane gases. It was nine times higher than the global average. Lead researcher Igor Semiletor from Tomsk Polytechnic University said the group located the most powerful gas fountain he says I've ever seen. Semiletor added, no one has ever recorded anything like this before. Simulator made the discovery during his 45th trip to the Arctic and said his team could scoop the boiling methane bubbles of water into buckets. And he said it's manifested by the increase in methane concentration in air up to 16 parts per million, which is nine times more than the average planetary values. No one has ever registered this before, he said. Methane bubbles are increasingly found in lakes, rivers and oceans due to the rising temperatures of Earth. The bubbles emit harmful greenhouse gases back into the Earth's atmosphere. The potential gas is up to 25 times more efficient at trapping heat than carbon dioxide. The uh, lead researcher compared finding methane bubbles in the Siberian Sea to finding a needle in a haystack. The team made the break uh, through after spotting an emerald color against the background of dark water. A simulator said, it's one thing to fix this phenomenon with the help of special instruments, and it's quite another to see the methane emission to the surface of the water with your own eyes. No matter, he says, how accurate the equipment showing the coordinates of the SIP to find a place in the sea waves of a breakthrough of gas into the atmosphere is more complicated than finding a needle in a haystack. Nevertheless, the expedition members did succeed to find this. On the right side of the Keldish, they saw a spot of emerald color against the background of dark water, and they approached it, and scientists were able to observe how gas rises from the black depths of the sea to the surface with thousands of bubbles filaments. Now, the research team stumbled on the surprise discovery during expedition exploration into the environmental consequences of permafrost thawing beneath the ocean. The permafrost is, growing, is uh, the ground which is permanently frozen in the north, in the Arctic areas. They have been frozen solid for thousands of years. And according to uh, national, well, it's not just the Arctic, we also have permanently frozen ground in the Antarctic as well. According to National Snow and Ice Data Center, an area is considered to be permafrost when it remains below zero degrees for at least two years. Permafrost currently covers about 8.7 million square miles of the Northern Hemisphere. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition, 
and the community around our church. Thank you.